Hi, I'm Juliet and I'm here today because of the Art and Design Foundation course. Um, I did the course myself two years ago and um, I went on to progress on to do textile design still at De Montfort University. The course really did embed how to say yes to every single opportunity. I was able to work with glass, clay, metal, which otherwise I wouldn't be able to be creative with. This year's foundation students are all set up for their final project and I'm going to be having a look around at their work and have a chat with them. Lovely. How was your foundation? How was the experience? I loved it. Um, I first came in with the idea of studying uh, interior design. So I did this course to actually progress to interior design. But I changed my mind and now I'm doing textile design. Oh wow, good choice. That's one I did. <laughs> so what was your collection based on then? What was the inspiration? Um, during the course we went on a trip to Oxford and I visited um, the botanical gardens there. So I was really inspired by the greenhouses, like the see-through of the glass mm -hmm. and uh, kind of the beauty contained within, with the richness of the colours and all that. So I kind of took that as an inspiration in colour and the choice of fabric. Oh, lovely. It's a really, really lovely collection. Thank you. Thank you for showing me. part-time fine art student. Hello. <laughs> and what's your installation based on? Where's, where's it come from? The inspiration um, is from a Robert Rauschenberg um, exhibition at the Tate Gallery and this is based on motherhood and emotion. Um, the fact that you've got the raw dependency, uh, codependency and independency um, and it's just it should just be a natural free, free flowing um, installation. So, yeah, I hope people enjoy it. Here we are with Sophie, and you've done fine art, haven't you? Um, tell me about your final piece and the inspiration. Um, basically, I wanted to get across my point of veganism and kind of how people are in the dark about what they're eating, but also go into my own fear of the dark and like the unknown. That's kind of aspect. Yeah, I love it. And how, how have you created these stills? What are they made um, of? Them? Ceramic, basically. It's the, um, I wanted to create little creepy characters and then. I found out that they worked really well on camera, so I decided to animate them, and yeah. show and seeing the students work and what they have to say. It's really nice to come back each year and look at the foundation show because it reminds me of where I started at De Montfort. Should you be interested in the foundation course um, you can check out the website, um, our social media or come to an open day. We'd love to see you. Um, all the links will be provided at the bottom. Thank you. Thank you.